And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Tanny Calagrius, which was a request from Noctum Von Doom via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. Tanny Calagrius was a basal Silurosaur theropod that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now the U.S., and it was found in a few places. It looks like a typical theropod with the shorter arms and the long tail, and it had a large skull and long, lightly built legs. As you probably know, because it was a theropod, it was carnivorous. Unless it's a therizinosaur, but this isn't. Good point. The holotype of Tanny Calagrius was collected in 1995 during an excavation by Western Paleontological Laboratories in the Bone Cabin Quarry West in Wyoming, and that's in the Morrison Formation. The holotype includes an incomplete skull and lower jaws and parts of the skeleton, chevrons, gastralia fragments, ulnae, humeri, fibula, metatarsals, a complete right foot. That's pretty good. Yeah. Especially that it has part of a skull and a whole bunch of the body. Yes, but well, the skull is not that well known. Oh, so incomplete on the less complete end of the spectrum. It just depends <laughs> think, what, what you're comparing it to. Okay. <laughs> so when the holotype was first found, it was thought to be Silurus fragilis. That was in 1998 by Miles and others. And then Kenneth Carpenter and others named Tanny Calagrius in 2005. The reason, probably, for some of the confusion is other partial skeletons that were found nearby included Silurus and Ornitholestes. So Carpenter and others compared the fossils and said, no, this dinosaur is not Silurus or Ornitholestes. Of all the known theropods in the Morrison Formation, Tanny Calagrius is most similar to Silurus, but it's more primitive. Carpenter and all wrote, quote, small theropods during the late Jurassic were clearly more diverse than previously realized, end quote. There's a paratype of Tanny Calagrius that includes an incomplete hand found in the bone cabin quarry in Wyoming, and Henry Osborne had referred to it as an Ornitholestes hermini in 1903. There's also a referred premaxilla that was previously thought to be Stoxosaurus clevelandi. That was since 1974. And it had been found along with an ilium in the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry in Utah. But there's no ilium known for Tanny Calagrius, so they couldn't compare them to be sure. Some distal pubes found in Colorado were referred to Silurus in 1920 by Charles Gilmore, but now they're thought to be Tanny Calagrius. The type species is Tanny Calagrius top wilsoni, and the genus name Tanny Calagrius means long limb hunter or stretched out limb hunter. Lanky hunter. Yeah, it's based on the fact that Tanny Calagrius has longer forelimbs and hind limbs compared to Silurus. And the species name top wilsoni is in honor of George quote unquote top Wilson. From the paper, it said that he is, quote, retired United States Marine Corps. He is also the father of a benefactor who supported the research. So that was nice of him. The holotype of Tanny Calagrius was a subadult. It was about 11 feet or 3.3 meters long. But the premaxilla found in the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry was part of an individual estimated to be 13 feet or 4 meters long and estimated to weigh 260 pounds or 120 kilograms. That sounds much bigger than Silurus, which was more like Velociraptor size and I think under 50 pounds. It's probably one of the reasons they decided it was a separate genera. Yeah, that is way, way bigger, even as a subadult. That's a good reason. It's actually unclear how big an adult could get because the age of that premaxilla specimen is unclear. So maybe it got even bigger. Yeah. You can see Tanny Calagrius at the North American Museum of Ancient Life in Lehigh, Utah. And it also appears in Jurassic World Alive. They really added a lot of dinosaurs to that game. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like half of your recent dinosaurs of the day are in there. It's good. And if you play it, you learn about a wide variety of dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I think that's where some of our requests come from, too. Mm. Is people seeing them in that game. And some of them are really realistic. They add feathers and stuff, mm -hmm. unlike in the movies. But, well, the movies were realistic for the time. Yes. 
For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.